Hi everyone, my name is Naveen and I'll show you how to create a new project in Premiere Pro 2022. So here inside of Premiere Pro, uh, you can click on the New Project button if you're able to see it. Otherwise, you can go up to File, New Project, and that'll bring up the New Project dialog box, which by the way has changed a little bit in Premiere Pro 2022. Um, now the first thing to do is to create or to set a project name and a project location. So I'm going to name my project here. So, uh, you know, of course you want to give it a descriptive name. And then inside of project location, I'm going to click inside of this box here with the location. And I recommend not using the default location. Choose something that you're going to remember later on. So I'm going to click on choose location. And then I'm going to browse. Um, you know, you can put it on your desktop in your documents folder. I have actually created a folder on my desktop, so I'm going to go there. Um, and this is where I want to save my project file. So I'll click on the Choose button right here. Um, and it's uh, very important to remember where you saved your project, because this is where all of your work and all of your uh, changes are going to be saved. Now underneath, we have a place where we can optionally import media. So if you're ready to import your media, you can do it now. I'm going to go to my desktop, and then I'll go into my project folder. And I have already created a media folder. And inside of my media folder are all of my media clips. So you can select a clip simply by clicking on it, and you'll notice it gets checked. And you can select multiple clips simply by clicking on them. And then if you want to select a whole range of clips, so I've clicked on one clip, and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to shift click on the last file. And now you can see everything has been selected. You can see a little preview of the clips down at the bottom of the screen. Um, I also recommend near import settings where it says create new sequence, make sure that is turned off. So if it's blue, click on it so that it becomes gray. Otherwise, all of your media is going to get added to the timeline, which I'm not really ready for right now. So now I can click on the uh, Create button, and then all of my media files will get imported into uh, Premiere Pro, and I'll be able to see them right down here inside the Project panel, and you can start your editing process. Uh, now I'm going to show you a slightly different way of doing this. So I'm going to close uh, the project. And this is actually my preferred way of creating a new project in Premiere Pro. So you can go back to File, New, Project. And then I'm still going to choose a project name and a project location. So I'm going to uh, browse to the location where I want to save my project file, and I have already selected or created a folder for that. Then I'm actually going to skip the entire process of importing my media on this screen. I'm going to import it later on. Uh, and so here I'm just going to click on the Create button. So my new project has been created, and now I'm going to import it using a slightly different way. I'm going to go up to File, Import. That'll bring up my file browser. And then I can navigate to my folder where I've already selected or gathered all of my media. Then I'm going to select it by clicking on the first clip, shift clicking on the last one. I'll click on the Import button. Now everything will appear in the project panel as before. I can double click on a clip to preview it. So for example, if I double click on something, it'll open up in the source monitor and I can preview it by clicking on the uh, play button. I can also just drag a clip directly into the uh, timeline over here and then I can start the uh, editing process. And of course, I'll be doing many more videos on how to do that. So be sure to uh, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.